I ask you guys, who is the number one Bloodhound player? You told me about Jim Burton, Rogue, and Snipe Down, so let's check him out and decide for ourselves. So obviously we have to start this video with Jim Burton. After Jim Burton, we're gonna have Snipe Down, we're gonna have Rogue. So let's just check them all out. Bonus here is that Jim Burton is considered like the number one roller player, so we might just see a lot of roller gameplay here, like just showing that off rather than the Bloodhound skills. But I'll try my best to give a accurate estimation. My God. He does not miss these. God damn. <laughs> Oof. He's just 1v1ing them, man. That's all he's... Oh! That is a absolute heater. It's it's the gun. It's all the gun. Okay, we still got some blood on gameplay. I haven't seen him use his scan once. He just destroys them. Like, it... it <laughs> I mean, let's keep watching, obviously. This is this is insane to watch, but... Oh, here's he's in Blood and Old here. Let's see. Ooh. She... Oh, it's just sitting there. It doesn't use a scan, though. Still hasn't used it. Hitting some heaters. I'm hitting some heaters. Oof. What did I just do? <laughs> oh, he's got it. Whoa, that guy just got bopped. He got pinged on real hard there. Oh, he's actually playing with Rogue. We'll be watching Rogue after, uh, after Jim Burton, so this will be interesting. He has a 1 to 2x on the wingman as well. That's crazy. If you guys don't know, uh, I think he lives in the US now, but Jim Burton used to live in Australia. Uh, so he plays on a very high ping, 200 to 300 uh, milliseconds. Which is why you see some really weird looking beams. Like around the walls and stuff. It is what it is. I haven't been uh, seeing much from him like once he moved to the US, but I would imagine he's still popping off as usual. Alright. <laughs> Just rubbing it in. That's some fast looting as well. There's a scan. God damn. He does a miss. I don't know what to tell you, chat. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, this is that was a good scan, too. I'm not not an expert at Bloodhound, but I'd say that was a pretty solid scan. I'm just happy he did it at this point. <laughs> oh, we got a comp game. He had 11 kills. Ah, oh, that seems about on par. Very good ultimate. Working out for them, though. No scan, though. Here we go. He's going in and I was going out again. He's got it though. He's got it. Ooh. Ooh. And there's a third party. He's got the beams. Come on. You can hit it. One shot. Okay. A little bit more than that. You got it though. Oh, there's one more. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> I honestly, I'm sorry. Yeah. It almost makes sense. Like when you have beams like this, you don't even need to use your scan. Just make sure you have the wall hack from your ultimate and then just kill them with, with your beams. Like that's all you need. You got the wall hacking, you got the aimbot. Like, it's, it can't get better than that. Let's go. Let's turn it into a 1v1 just like that. This has to be the scariest person to fight. I, I haven't played, like, any ranked that much. I've never run into him. I w would imagine it's the scariest thing ever. Oh, he's just sending it. This guy's the most aggressive blood I've ever seen as well. I wonder if we'll see some difference from like when we watch Rogue and then we watch Snipe Down how they approach the game. But this guy goes in. He goes in and he pops off. You need like usually because Bloodhound is like a backline legend. You need someone with consistency. You need someone who can like anchor and clutch up and hold the team in the back. Uh, it's, again, it's very rare that they play frontline I feel. But he just hits everything so he gets away with it. Absolutely crazy. Absolute treat, that's for sure. Oof. 
Oh, he even got the knock there but with, the, with the fade away and the wall hop and the 360. What did I just do? They're pushing up hard. They're aping. Ooh. Bangalore one dead as well. Bro. Sheesh. He called it before he even did all the damage. He did like 50. Oh, Valk beamed. He was so confident on that call. He's on... Is he Imperial Halal? Or is it like a... I've seen someone in EU with that name as well, but I don't think it's him. <laughs> oh. Winsies. Oh. Destroyed. Oh my god. I can't believe this. This software is so good. There's no shot. <laughs> what? One close, one close, one more. Put all the bait commons in there as well. That's why you give me an online. I like this too. Like, yeah, we came here to watch Bloodhound. We'll, we will be watching more Bloodhound stuff, but we see him playing a lot of different things here. It's really interesting. I am, to me, as someone who plays like a kind of like a flex, I guess, uh, seeing someone showcase like that flexible of a, of a legend pool is impressive. Like, uh, uh, Apex isn't as, like, you know, there aren't really that many one trick ponies, but. Like, you, you, if you know how to play one legend, you might know how to play most of the other ones, but still, it's always interesting to see flexible players. Oof! This guy doesn't miss. He just he literally, like, missing is a foreign concept to Jim Burton. Control game. Oh, we, we watched uh, we watched a control game. I remember now from Jim Burton. We need to watch more uh, just Jim Burton in general, I feel. We, we should do, like, a dedicated video reacting to one. Like, if there's any Jim Burton videos you guys want me to, like, react to, let me know in the comments, I guess. We'll check him out. Because this dude is absolutely nuts, and we watched one of his control games. I don't think it was this one, but he went absolutely nuts with it. And it just didn't, but, but it was controlled, so it didn't really, like, give him the credit that he deserved, right? So... Fuck? Oh, I am cheating. I, I cheater. I, I cheat. Oh, yeah, you're a cheater. yeah, I am. I am. There's a scan. So he's on a flank too. Very good flank. Dead. What the fuck is that? Fisher. Jen has had more insane one clips in this video alone than the average mouse and keyboard pro has in their lifetime. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> this is insane. Like, not even a mouse and keyboard player, mouse and keyboard pro, like the, the, the top of the top. This is nuts. I feel bad for Rogue after this, this video, because we're going to watch Rogue highlights after this one. I have no idea how he's going to hold up to this. Like, none whatsoever. Oof. Oh, he went Oh, that was it. Alright, let's move on. So that was uh, Jim Burton. Again, I didn't feel like th this could have been because the editor cherry-picked videos that showcase his controller skill, his aim skill, whatever word you want to use. Not necessarily his Bloodhound skills. So we didn't see too much of that a few times. We said I pointed it out. It was like not too many scans, not too much team utility. But he was beaming. It was providing pressure and space for his team. So he was still playing the anchor role to a certain degree. And that was Jim Burton. So now we're going to be watching Rogue. Uh, and I haven't been watching it. I was just testing so the audio worked. Let's just uh, dive into it. Rogue. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. R3-1 and Crave. Right, he's kind of known for that. It's uh, R3-1. Ooh, all right, I was wrong. Start on that. Now he's not on Bloodhound right now, but he is on Bloodhound in most of the clips. Probably same thing as uh, what's his face. Jim Burton was. Cheat. Oof. It's gonna open with that. Let's see how he does this then. So he ults. He has to clutch this up. He has a Kraber. This will shot in or a shot even. 
He just did a lot of damage, you got it. Easy scan. <laughs> so you need a wall axe. That's why you need a wall axe, man. That's the real better gameplay, that's for sure. This guy's like one of those dudes that Reddit really hates, and I'm not sure why. Oof. So definitely seeing a lot more use of his utility here. Then again, he's also playing against, uh... See some more Bangalores and whatnot, so they're really cool. Uh, nice. <laughs> What's going on? Let's look for a trick shot. Does he get it? No. Maybe next one. Oh, oh, okay, maybe next one. There you go. <laughs> Dude, I remember when he had, like, nothing on a wall. He has, like, so many... Yeah, hit the subscribe button. Uh, there was so many... He, like, yeah, he has so many things in the background and he used to only have, like, one gun. I remember he, we tweeted about it, like, a year ago or something. I don't even recall when. Just that he did. Oh, he's whiffing. There you go. I don't know what that team's doing all the way out in zone. Oh, he's gonna hit it. Let's go! Let's go! And he even gets the finish in midair. That is just disrespectful. Good bait. Oh, he sees a Kraber. He wants a Kraber, man. Oh, God. Rogue, no. He's about to get poked to death, though. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Had to get the Kraber. He even picked up the Kraber first. He didn't even care about the armor at first. There you go. <laughs> That's nice. All right, we got some more blood on gameplay. Let's check it out. Oh! <laughs> that was a good punish. You'd love to see it. That's the power of wall hikes right there. He's not on the wall. He had a sear on his team, but still. See, the wall is a little bit smaller now, right? Like, I don't know. Should I get one of those? Obviously, not until we move. But, you know, let me know. Obviously, that's his thing. I don't want to steal his thing, but it definitely... I've kind of been eyeing, like, the replicas a lot, and I think they look really cool. I always kind of wanted them. Maybe get some high-quality ones, not get the cheapo 3 d printed ones. I'm sure that exists. Some more metallic materials. Got it. For a second, I thought this would be, like, the Acrylics Club, but it's not. It looks exactly like the Acrylics Club. I'm pretty sure it's, like, the same zone, same area. Oof. Ooh, let's go! You, you get this, you got this. Oh, let's go. He's been practicing that. What did I just do? <laughs> that was gonna be huge. Humongous time. Sheesh. Six scrims. Oh, it's ranked, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking that was a sweaty end game for a ranked game. Last Rogue what? Game. Rogue oh, what? <laughs> it's actually a good position it took as well. Because now we can really get the the flank here. They can drop however they want. Especially with the with the pick. He rose a Kraber Mastiff. That's such a Gibraltar loadout. If I've ever seen one. God damn. And that was a Kraber PK. He just does it. And that's some, that's some Bloodhound. Okay, I guess he just runs Kraber PK. He likes it that much. Oof. Man, he just... <laughs> he's just shooting everyone he sees. He doesn't even, like, worry about the follow-ups. He just shoots whoever he wants to. He, he just wants to show everyone that he can do it. Oh my god, Rogue. I see why Reddit hates him. Like, this is just disrespectful. If, if, I, if I was a team dying like that, I'd be like, that's... Calm down, man. Calm down. Yeah, he's good. Oof. I haven't seen that many Kraber players, but I'd say probably... This guy has to be one of the best Kraber players I've seen. Honestly. He is so solid with it. Is that a video, maybe? You guys want to see the best Kraber player? Might be something, let me know. Sheesh! You got it. <laughs> Actual goals. Like, actually, like, I would love to have uh, Kraber skills like this. Mine are a little bit inconsistent. My god. 
Like, he makes your Kraber look like an op. In my case, like, the Kraber is literally like, ah, uh, you know. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. It almost looks like a hit scam when he uses it. With how consistent this. Kenny S of Apex. That was an absolute banger. God damn. Oh, we don't have bubble. Yeah, no, he's not on Jibby. Nice, nice, nice. No scans. Man, that bothers me. Like, obviously, he's doing his thing. He has to focus on that, but like, he should have scanned beforehand. There's the afterwards scan. All right, that's fine, too. They still win it. But it could be better, okay? Obviously, they won it. Obviously, he's the number one predator. He knows what he's doing, but. Since I'm trying to evaluate who the best, uh, oh my god. Since I'm trying to evaluate who the best, uh, blood on us, in my opinion, everything like that is important. That was an insane clutch. God damn. No angle, no angle. Shoot on that guy. Sheesh. There you go. With the juke tap strafe, you love to see it. Big booty e girl 12x pred. That is a good name. <laughs> that reads like a, a random Twitch title almost. You going for the melee? Oh no. He wanted it. Needs a style points for the montage. There you go. That is a good arc. Sheesh. Instead, he runs back. Smart. Hey, he just plays a flanker a lot here. So he doesn't anchor either. He more It's more of a flanker role for sure. Actually, I'm lying to you. It's like a flanker slash, uh, slash anchor. It depends on the situation. But we've seen him a little bit in both. A lot of the Kraber clips obviously has been anchoring and then like laying down cover fire. Nice. Nice. Oh, I love a good arc star. <laughs> that guy was panicking. I like how he switches up the angle. You have to be very conscious about your angles and positioning when you play. Oh, Bloodhound. Oh, God. There you go. Because he's like such a big hitbox. It's a little bit like playing Pathfinder, except you also have a massive head uh, hitbox. It's probably chunkier than Pathfinder, honestly. So you have to be very... You really have to think about that. Oh, is he going to win it? Nice. I have a soft spot for trick shots like that. I would never go for them. I don't think I ever have hit one. Oh my god, okay, dude. Now you're just flexing on him. Now you're just flexing on him, dude. Oh, sir. <laughs> oh, the collab. Did I use a collab? Collat. There we go. Sorry, too much YouTube for me. That's illegal. Oh, whoa, what did he? <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. Yeah, actually. What is happening? What is going on? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let's go. There's one more somewhere, man. I'd be careful if I were you. Oh my god, let's go. Drop got dropped. Wait, was that a 2x on R9? Oh, it was, but also was when the stabilizer was a thing. Ooh. Your ammo. Oh no. 
He wins these. He wins these. Never lost them in his life. There you go. Oh, let's go. One more. Oh, oh, that's the ultra for the... Okay. But don't worry. We have one more. Don't worry about it. We got one more. Now, of course, to close it out before I give my verdict, we're going to watch the best of Snipe Down, the controller god of TSM, uh, old TSM, that is. So let's just check him out. This dude was, used to be like a pro in, in Halo. He's the prodigy. He's like 35 years old. I don't know how old he is. Best Apex clips. Let me see. I'll be the judge of that. That was a good start. Oh Sneep God. down. <laughs> oh, don't die, Snipe. You good? Right. There'll, there'll be some mixed legends. We'll just have to deal with it. I think I don't think anyone complains. I don't think anyone's watching this fuming, being like, ah, he's, he said this will be a bloodhound video. Well, we're seeing the bloodhound. This is a little bit of stuff in between, make it a little bit more interesting. So shitting on people. Because I was worried. I was like, oh, it's gonna be a lot of bloodhound. It's gonna get boring to watch. But we'll, we'll we'll see a little bit of everything. Oh no! He doesn't miss. Literally doesn't exist in his vocabulary. Using that wall hack. Oh, this is an arena clip. I didn't even notice. I was just looking at the gameplay. Nice. Oh my god, it's design! <laughs> fucking obliterated! Alright, come now. <laughs> poor, poor design just catching bullets like that. In game and out of game. I'm burning him. Oof. What happened to his camera? Okay, I feel like... Sniped on is getting more points simply because he's using his scan more. Like, off cooldown. I'm pretty sure in this little- we watched like four clips or something. And I'm pretty sure in these four clips he has used the scan more than- definitely more than Jim Burton did in his entire highlights. And I'm not entirely sure about Rogue. It's cutting it close. I feel like Sniped on a sense of the value of like utility team playing and whatnot and the others are more individual crackheads. Which makes sense given his history, I guess. Watch more. Ooh. He is not hitting nose. Oh, you got it. You win this. Nice. Oh. Good stuff. Love to see it. It's on the Loba clan. I guess so, yeah, I guess so what I've been getting wrong about like Blood on is yeah, you want to play back and anchor a lot of times, but if you have your ultimate up, you really want to get in there. But obviously, you have to mind your, your size, because you'll take a lot of damage. If you get the focus too hard. Definitely, this might also be a controller thing. Uh, control players generally are a lot more aggressive than mouse and keyboard players. Oh, he knows the timing! He knows the timing! Ah, let's go! <laughs> he even counted it verbally to make sure we all knew. Ooh, 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 ooh. How are you alive? <laughs> That's a lot of arenas clips. We found that one guy who actually plays arenas. God damn. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. <laughs> Poor uh, Alba Lully. No scan? Alright. He did scan here though, that's good. Bonus points. 
I wonder if this is, it keeps doing random teammates here in arena. I guess it was some type of event that I missed. Or maybe just felt like playing arena a lot. Try to pre-fire, not getting it. There you go. You got it, you got it. Oh, that is, I've never seen anyone play that. I learned something today. The little, uh, little screen there. I don't know what use you would have for it, but now I know it exists. It's ingrained in my mind now. This works out perfectly for them because the other teams are aggroing each other, so it's knocked on both ends. He's got the scan. That gives choose whoever they want to push. He goes for the guy on top. Lays down the damage. He can get a fatty flank here with the Prowler. Oh, no, he he goes for the 1v1. Okay, he can do that too. Oof. Does not miss. He just doesn't know what missing means. Uh, people are like coming from every angle all the time. It's crazy. Oh! <laughs> no, no, no. It's a scan. Nope, no scan. I thought it was going to cancel and scan this round next, but it, no, didn't care. There might be something to learn here, but I don't know what it would be. I'm going. Like, it's like, am I wrong or are they wrong? They're the seasoned, uh, you know, you know, watching, they're not watching my highlights and learning, like, how to be the best bloodhounds. So maybe I need to revisit that strategy. I still stand by it, though. Like, you need to, I do feel like you need to scan more in general. Most people need, apparently need to scan a lot more. Like, I'm not sure what they're holding it for. If anyone, if there's any experienced uh, Bloodhound God here in, in the chat or in, in the comments who want to chime in, chime in, like, just let me know. I'm all ears, so I would love to hear what I am missing. But again, I think I'll stand by it mostly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Game says on point. Oh, it's risky. He's going for it. Uh, not even close. Not even close. Oh, he's taking a contest head on. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, he's going for it. Don't take step down. You can do it. <laughs> we need some... Uh, some chicken dance. <laughs> Please scan him at least. Help him out. Dude, it's definitely like maybe I'm missing one Bloodhound or not, but I feel like it's not as straight. Like, you know, like I think when we did Pathfinder, it was like super obvious when we did it that, okay, no, this one guy is way better than the other ones we're watching. But as far as like Bloodhound skills, specifically, we're not talking about aim skills, movement, Bloodhound, I feel like it's a lot more difficult to say, right? Maybe it's super clear to you guys watching in, in the comments, but I'll, I'll, I'll summarize my thoughts here at the end where we're getting closer to it, and we'll see. But I definitely feel like it's a lot harder, that's for sure. You got this. Oh, he's got the wall hack, it's on. There's a lot of smokes, it's fine. I'll see everything wall hacks or rather he scans them. Full information. Oh, the bubble because it got Jibby ulted. Nah, oh, you got this. He does have to fight as well though, because they're in a bit of a weird spot here. I think I think they have to move first. I can't tell from the from the zone here. Yeah, the blood on is coming in clutch right now. That's for sure. Extra bonus, I think, because aim assist doesn't work for smokes, so... Oh, no, I went down for it. So anyways, my thoughts. We, we've watched... Jin Burton, that's what we open with. A little bit of Rogue, and now a little bit of Snipe Down. And as I mentioned, uh, just a few minutes ago, I feel like it's really close. Like, all these three are really solid players for different reasons. I think Jim Burton is, uh, I've said before, I think he might be the number one controller player. He has a full control on how to abuse aim assist to its fullest. He does some absolutely insane beams. 
no player can pull off either on mouse or keyboard or on controller uh, consistently. So, but we didn't see him use the scan that much. If anything, I saw him make a lot of pivotal mistakes when it, when it came to using his scans. Like, really big mistakes. Uh, thankfully, he's a beamer, so he gets away with it. But he doesn't really get the team utility, uh, at least in the clips that we saw. Just a big minus for me. I'd probably rank him above Rogue. But it, both Rogue and Jimburn are very close. Rogue plays more of an anchor role, a little bit slower. A little bit more team utility, for sure. But he has a... You know, he doesn't have the same beams, obviously. He's a mouse and keyboard. Uh, Bloodhound is typically a controller role. If you guys didn't know, controllers usually play Bloodhound. Because uh, you want, like... It just makes sense. Uh, and honestly, the best all around from the ones we've seen today. Again, if there's anyone I missed, let me know in the comments. I'm going to have to give that to Snipe Down. I do feel like... He's the most accomplished. Well, I shouldn't say that. Obviously, Jim Burton, I think, gets more results. I don't... But I don't think they play Bloodhound when he won a tournament, right? I think Snipe Down might have the most accomplishments competitively as a Bloodhound. Which, normally, like, it's, it's worth keeping in mind. I feel like, again, he used his... He played his role better. And he seemed to use his kit better than both of the others. Plus, he had good beams, solid team play in general. It's just, I think... If you'd have to ask me, again, I'd say Snipe Down is the number one Bloodhound in Apex. Anyways, that was the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see me do this whole thing for Pathfinder, check out the video on the screen right there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow.